Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. This is your game now, gentlemen. And now. And now. Here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This story struck me over the weekend. And not for the reasons you might expect. I saw this story and I said to myself, (laughs) say what you will. I've wanted to do that. Now, saying you wanted to do something doesn't mean you would do it or will do it. It just means if somebody else did it, you could sit there and chuckle and say, hey. (laughs) God, I wish that I had done that. That ever happened to you? You ever see somebody do something that you wouldn't do? Maybe it's illegal. Maybe you'd get caught and punished by somebody. Could be your parents, could be the police department, could be anybody. But you saw somebody do something to somebody else, and you said, (laughs) I wish that was me. And that's what I said. That is what I said. Here's the version of the story from the CNN website, Dateline Baghdad. An Iraqi TV reporter who threw his shoes at President Bush during a news conference remains in custody as judicial officials decide whether to charge him with assault Muntadar al-Zaidi, a reporter for the TV channel Al-Baghdadia, faced testing for alcohol and drugs to determine his state of mind, said a government official who requested anonymity. At Sunday's news conference, the journalist whipped off his shoes and hurled them at Bush during the president's unannounced stop in Baghdad. Now, here's what it sounded like. Again, it's better to see it, obviously, than to hear it. But here's Bush giving the news conference when all hell broke loose. Those Iraqis, they're an emotional sort. Do we have a second cut there, Gary? There's more of this. Oh, yeah, the fun continued. Let me talk about the guy throwing the shoe. Uh, it is one way to gain attention. Uh, it's, it's like going to a political rally and having people yell at you. It's like driving down the street and have people not gesturing with all five fingers. It's a way for people to draw you know, attention. I don't know what you guys call it. But one thing is for certain, he caused you to ask me a question about it. And, uh, of course, the uh, shoes did not hit Bush. He uh, ducked. And uh, the shoes flew behind him. Says here the reporter called his shoe throwing a traditional insult in Arab culture. A farewell kiss for a dog who launched the 2003 invasion of Iraq. Says here, Bush swiftly ducked the flying foot, where and later told reporters aboard Air Force One that the bizarre incident was not a sign of popular opinion in Iraq. This guy is delusional. Delusional. By the way, do you remember when uh, when George Bush told us that we would be seen as heroes in Iraq? 
Oh, yes, because we've liberated them and we've given them what they've been wanting forever, democracy. We'd be hailed as heroes. Children would come up in the street and thank us. Remember that? Remember mission accomplished? Yeah. <laughs> yes, the president joked. I don't know what the guy said, but I saw his soul, S-O-L-E. <laughs> Very nice. It says here that the uh, the TV network, Al-Baghdadia, is devoting round-the-clock coverage to the incident and calling for the immediate release of the reporter whose co-workers describe as usually calm and polite. In a statement read on the air, al Baghdadi has said that the that al Zaidi should be freed. That's the name of the reporter. In accordance with democracy and freedom of expression, Iraqis were promised by the new era and American authorities. <laughs> well, I don't think you can throw shoes at Bush here either. By the way, it says here the channel also ran the reporter's image with what it said were messages of support from viewers in a crawl at the bottom of the screen and called on Arabs, Muslims, and Iraqis to support, quote, your brother. The network is fielding viewer phone calls about the action, with many people expressing support for al Zaidi and others saying his behavior was inappropriate. And the story goes on. There it is. A TV reporter in Iraq throws his shoes at Bush. Now, come on. If you saw the video or you've heard this story, yes, the Secret Service would be all over your ass. Yes, you'd never get away with this. Uh, I'm also telling you, just to save the Secret Service time coming down to the radio station, I am not encouraging anyone to commit any acts of any kind, including any acts against the President of the United States. Do not do that, okay? It's on the record. I've said it. It's illegal. You'll be punished. And um, I certainly say, hate to see you be punished, so don't do it. Okay? Can't make it any clearer than that. Now that I've said it, as I saw the video, as I read the story, I'm thinking, well, I wouldn't do that. But <laughs> I'm kind of glad someone did. What do you think? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. Where short of commercial breaks means more time to give my moronic opinions. And to hear other idiots' responses to them. At 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. All right, an Iraqi reporter threw his shoes at President Bush. Starting a surprise visit to Iraq this weekend. Come on, did you enjoy that? You did, right? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Adrian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, how are you, Tom? I'm pretty good. Great, great. I totally agree with you on this subject. I was watching this over the weekend, and it was it was fantastic because it just goes to show how our president is not in touch with what is happening outside of his bubble. You know, with the fact that he said, I don't really care what happened. How could you not care? What if that was a gun? Then he'd be crying, you know, but the fact that it was a shoe, was an inanimate object, then he wasn't, like, stressed out about it. But if it were me, I would be really upset. <laughs> well, um, I certainly would have some concern about it, but... <laughs> Yeah, I just think the guy is such a dolt. He's such a moron. He's such a maroon. He doesn't even realize the significance of what happened. Absolutely. Absolutely, Tom. I could not agree with you more. I still enjoyed seeing somebody do it. I, I did, too. I was laughing the whole time. I was like, I wish it was something else. I wish it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you wish you were the one doing it? Come on. I do. I do. Even though I would have suffered the repercussions, I would have. I would have. I've been waiting for somebody yeah. to do something to this guy yeah. because he needs to wake up, and I can't wait to see what Obama has to do for us because I know it's going to be a huge change for our country. Well, he's never going to wake up. He's going to leave office having been reelected the maximum number of terms. 
And then they'll have the big library for him. Like the guy ever read a book. <laughs> I agree with you wholeheartedly because I pass by the Richard Nixon library all the time and I see he, 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 was, he was raised in Whittier, California. He was not, just because he was born in Yorba Linda does not mean that he was raised there. Yes. You know, so people have to know their history. It's like they would not put a big old Richard Nixon library in Whittier because it's mo predominantly Latinos. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, let's face the fact, you know, where are they going to put um, Bush's, Bush's library, you know? It's going to be in Texas where the affluent people live, you know? It's like, whatever. Now, wait a minute, though. <laughs> did he grow up in Texas or did he grow up in Kennebunkport, Maine? I mean, wasn't this father from Maine? Um, you know what? I don't know too much about I don't about even it. know. I, I, I don't and I don't even care. I mean, good riddance to bad rubbish. Exactly. I agree with you completely, Tom. And I've been wanting to call you so bad. And I just love listening to you. And I just wanted to tell you that because, oh, my God, there's so many topics that I want to call on. And I just get scared. I'm like, no, I don't want to call. But today I just I had to call because I felt compelled. I just can't stand this president. Well, I'm glad you did, darling. Thank you so much, Tom, for taking my call. Have a wonderful Christmas. You too. Have a great day. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. An Iraqi reporter threw his shoes at President Bush during a surprise appearance in Iraq. What's your reaction to this? Gerardo on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. Man, I just think that was, like, totally uh, outrageous, man. It was just... It was funny. I had a I had a big time laugh. You know, I was just going crazy, man. You love watching it, right? Come on, I I I think it's only human. We hate this guy so much. We're so <laughs> tired of seeing him. Yeah, I'm I'm just tired of you know. Look look at the look look at the economy. It's so screwed up. I mean, I think Obama's gonna do a good job. You know, just give him some time. He'll you know he'll he'll he'll, he'll manage. So you know, it was just funny. You know that shoe. I mean, I wish he could have hit, gotten hit with something else. Now, the way, the way, if it ever happened in the United States, it'd probably be a pair of Pela shoes right now. Yeah. <laughs> and that was, a, and that was a pretty big size shoe too. <laughs> I know. A size ten. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> you should have threw Shaq Shaquille O'Neal's shoe. <laughs> well, Gerardo, thank you for that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Brian on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I do um, care, by the way. Doing great. Good, good. Listen, I think you're a moron. I think your audience members really? are morons. And well, you know, don't be so. Wait, 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 wait. Don't be so hard on yourself. Oh, really? Why am I? Why am I being? Because so hard you said on my audience members are morons. Come on, now. I'm sure you're a better person than that. <laughs> Listen, my friend. You know me quite well. I'm the guy that called a couple months. Back I don't know. I don't know you at all. Oh, you do. You know me quite well. No, I actually, I actually don't know you very well. I don't know I'm you the, at all. I'm the guy inside your head that that is your conscience, where you don't even oh, believe. Oh, so what you're you're, you're completely delusional. I see. Well, listen, quite you, frankly, you it, and the president, you, you have lost every ounce of respect mm. for this country. Obviously, really? you find it acceptable. No, I love this country. I hate Bush. He is our president. You don't uh, need to agree only with him. For another f only for another few weeks, and then his ass is out. Great, and then our country's really going to be in the toilet with a less experienced... How much further qualified. in the toilet can we be? Pardon me? How much further can we be in the toilet than Bush already flushed us? Why don't you tell me what Bush did wrong? Name one thing. <laughs> <laughs> All, how's the stock market doing these days? Unemployment? Inflation? How's what that doing? That How's do the Iraq him? war doing? How how are we doing in the world? Where is Osama bin Laden? Want me to go down the list here? Or go, we got a big list. Please. Wait, because of Bush, we got Saddam Hussein. So what? What do you mean, so what? The person where, where we were supposed to be out him? to get was Osama bin Laden, remember? You think we're not going after Osama bin Laden? No, no. First of Did, all, we were supposed we were to about. get. We were supposed to get Osama bin Laden. Where is he? We're going to get him. When? Well, we're sure as heck not going to get him with a president coming in who wants to cut our military. Uh, well, I, I, the point is, he should have been gotten already. Bush had seven years to find Osama bin Laden, but he didn't. And you know what? Where did Clinton? Clinton didn't get him. Clinton wasn't looking for him. 
Clinton but, but been, Bush, Clinton Bush have, said Clinton we were have, Bush said we were going to war in Iraq because of 9/11. Right. And, and where is Osama bin Laden? The answer is he couldn't find him. Him and Cheney and Condoleezza Rice and all the experts, they couldn't find him. Osama and that is Laden why, is too busy and that is why, and that is why we kicked the Republicans' ass out of office. Because right. we've been hearing this nonsense now for years, and people kept buying it. They reelected Bush, and now you see it was all a bunch of empty promises. So you find it acceptable to mock our president? And, yes, and, and, mocking and our president. I might add, mocking our president is a time-honored tradition in this country that goes way before George Bush. And I might add, your type was mocking our president when Bill Clinton was the president. So believe me, mocking our president is a tradition, and you yourself have honored it. Well, first of all, first of all, you know, before you tag me anything, I'm an independent. I'm not a rep- So am I. I'm not, I'm- I'm not naive so am to I. pick myself so in am one I. bracket. So am I. I'm an independent, too. You know, when are you going to bring your show back? Oh, you and your filthy mouth there, Mr. Zero Tolerance Policy. You're out! You know, if you, next time you call... By the way, <laughs> I know who you are now because I got your phone number. You moron with a filthy mouth. Oh, yes. Yes, another moral Republican calling in here and using the F word. Thank you. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Oh, how dare you mock the president? But what about Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky? Yeah, one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, that's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Marco on the Tom Likas show. Hello, hey Tom, what's up? How hey, much? First, first brother, let's get this straight. Bill Clinton was looking for Bin Laden, so don't say that he wasn't, and don't try to say that we no, all know I, that he was. Frankly, I think he said he was, but I don't think he was. Okay, now you're splitting hairs. You just told the other caller he wasn't looking for Bin Laden. He was. Secondly, the problem know, with this I'm, issue... I'm, it's not a matter of splitting hairs. I don't think he was. Well, you don't think he... It was part of his administration. Just go back and look at what he was doing I, at the time. I, I know he what was. he said he was doing, but I don't see the evidence that he did it. Okay. You said he wasn't looking for him. He was. I don't believe he was. The second part is... The problem with the, through, show, uh, the shoe throwing at Bush is not the fact that you hate or love Bush, okay? It's the fact that you're disrespecting the office of the U.S. presidency. Uh, the, uh, the office of, of the U.S. Feel. presidency does not deserve any respect. It does not deserve respect. Uh, when it deserves ridicule, it shall get ridicule. That's, that's why you're sinking down to the lowest common denominator. And well, that that's where the money her, is. That's where the money is. That chick who called earlier and said the Nixon library isn't in Whitty and the reason for it is because Mexicans don't read. That's why the, there that's why we the go. library now we see Whittier. Now we see what kind of person you really are. There and we what go. kind of person are that's you? Enough. The kind that celebrates the death? That's of- enough. <laughs> there you go. Another conservative call again. Yes. Mexicans don't read. Thank you for that, Marco. One eight hundred. What kind of a name is Marco, by the way? One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Let's say hello here to uh, Rami on the Tom Likas show. Hello, hello, Dad. Hello, Rami. How you doing, sir? Doing great. I just wanted to tell the listeners this Marco guy calling and saying that disrespecting the president. I think that the president disrespected the people of the United States by lying to them and by spending their tax dollars, tax dollars on an, an insignificant war. Wouldn't you agree? Well, among other issues people have with the president. I agree. And I also had a friend earlier tell me today that, you know, uh, throwing slippers in the Arab culture, you know, is offensive. But in America, it's not offensive. Hey, I don't know. But if you throw anything at me, I would be offended. Yeah, I understand that. So I just wanted to talk to you and let you know that. And I love your show. Keep up the good work. And I hope you're on there forever, man. Well, I hope so, too. Thank you. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Bob on the Tom Like His Show. Hey Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Great. Hey, I'm in Huntington Beach, and here's my here's my deal with this. 
the American presidency is a symbol of the United States of America and the people of America. Whether we agree with Bush or not, it's nobody else's place to tell him. We voted him out as Americans. This uh, Iranian has no business trying to assault the president of the United States. Well, first of all, this is not an Iranian. This is an Iraqi. Oh, Iraqi. Okay, I apologize. An Iraqi. We have, a, we have a right to vote him out because we don't like his policies, but no Iraqi has the right to disrespect the people of the United States. Well, by, actually, by I don't. I, I can't say that Iraqis don't have a right to disrespect the people of the United States. Uh, the Iraqis will decide whether he has the right to throw shoes at the president of the United States, but in the United States, we have the right to disrespect the president of the United States. Well, what he picked, he picked was, was the, the biggest symbol of the U.S. people, the President of the United States, to throw a shoe at, which is throwing the shoe at the people of the United States. No, he was throwing it at Bush. Yeah, but he doesn't know. He doesn't even know Bush's policies. We know oh, that. Oh, uh, come on! He he, wait a minute. He lives in Iraq. Yeah, but see, he, he's he's thinking about what's going on over there. And we're As well, he should. Why should he care about what's going on here? He's That's in Iraq. He he's he in doesn't. Iraq, and he's living with the consequences of having a war in Iraq well, that is. we have uh, begun and continued. We, we we have done we have voted him out we have showed what what we how we feel about him and it's just like a person down here here in the United States if he was in Washington throwing a shoe that's a attempt on the president uh, assault on the president of the United States doesn't happen you can't do it can't well, do it in another again, country either again uh, I don't know what you can do in another country and Iraq is going to decide what they're going to do with him and uh, right now the guy's in jail but he may be let out. And then again, he may not. But they are the deciders. They, not Bush, will decide. Well, uh, what I, happens? I, they decide, you know, as, as I know a, what as you a, hope they decide, but what if they decide that, hey, the guy was entitled to his opinion? What if they well, decided the that? Say, hey, he can say all that. He's a, he's a news reporter. He could do all the opinions he wants. You just don't throw nothing. Don't well, attack. Well, That's again, a, again, you are trying to apply the standards of the United States and the laws of the United States in other countries. That's right. That's but, right. Well, but guess what? The laws of the United States apply in the United States. Yeah, that's that's true. That you're, you know what? You're, you're you're totally right there. But I hope they have the decency to respect the people of the United States by respect. You know, well, I don't like think it has anything to do with the people of the United States. It has to do with one person, the person who had the shoes thrown at him. Right, right. But you know, we we know, but that one person represents presidents from guess Washington what? to I, Lincoln. I'm to telling now. you, there are a lot of people here who enjoyed seeing it. And, oh, yeah, I'm sure, there, I'm sure there was, because they think it's funny. But the thing is, I took it... Not just because they think it's funny. A lot of us are tired of the guy. A lot of us are tired of the policies. I think everybody who's lost their job is tired of seeing the guy. I think everybody who lost their shirts in the stock market is tired of seeing the guy. I think everybody whose business has closed as a result of the lousy economy he fostered is sick of the guy. Trust me when I tell you, lots oh. of people enjoy this. And not just because it was funny. Everything you said, everything you said there was true, but that's all stuff that we've taken care of here in the United States. We haven't taken so care of it. We're in the toilet. We, we are like in. We are in the toilet. We haven't taken care of any of it. Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show at one 800 tom President Bush had a pair of shoes thrown at him during a news conference. That happened on his surprise visit to Iraq over the weekend. Come on. Tell me you didn't enjoy that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Ryan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Dad. How you doing? Doing okay, son. Hey, just want to kind of chime in. Uh, I don't know. I just think it's really disrespectful, you know, the whole shoot-throwing thing. Well, no why, do, why does he owe Bush any respect? Well, because he's the president of the free world. No, no, actually, he's the president he, of the United States. Uh, of the United States. He's not the, the president of Iraq, and therefore he does not owe Bush any respect. And by the way, I might add, uh, Americans do not owe the president respect. I'm sorry, what? The Americans do not owe the president respect. Respect is earned. I agree, but by the same point, I mean, this is the man that we have to stand behind. I mean, No, you don't stand we do not him, have to stand. We do, not only do we not have to stand behind him, we showed how we are not standing behind him by voting in Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah, I would agree with you there. I don't know. I just, 
You do not. Uh, you know. do not have to stand behind the president. Many times, the president is wrong. When the I, president is wrong, you do not need to stand behind him. Understandably, but I mean, at that moment, what? Why? I mean, why would it be okay to throw anything at him? Uh, again, that's between uh, the 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 people of Iraq and the person who did the throwing. Uh, Correct. The president was not in the United States. And therefore, it should not be the beneficiary of United States law because he's not here. That's correct. Correct. And why does a reporter in Iraq owe respect to the president of the United States? Do you know the name of the president of Iraq? No, sir, I don't. Why Don't you owe him respect? Uh, if I knew who he was, I wouldn't throw anything yeah, at but him. If you respected him, you'd know who he was, right? Yeah, pretty much. All right, so you don't respect him, do you? No. Uh, and you say you don't not, owe not, him. Not in that tense. Well, if you don't owe him respect, why does an Iraqi owe our president respect? Well, it's not in respect of, you know, paying him respect. It's you just don't throw things at people. Well, again, that's, I mean, it's, a, a that's a, basic. it's a civil matter in Iraq. It's a basic. Right, right. Well, hey, Tom, I do have one question for you now that's been said. A while ago on your show, you had a, a girl call in and talk about killing somebody. Well, uh, yeah, check our website. It's all the details there. I don't want to change the topic of the program. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Garth on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. I, uh, I wanted to let you know I was really disappointed uh, by the news this morning. I was really disappointed because the shoes missed them. They missed them twice. <laughs> Not just once, but both shoes. And, uh, you know, I just feel like this guy is, is really a hero in a lot of ways. He was he just very brave with what he did. And uh, I'm hoping that he's, uh, you know, not in prison for the rest of his life. Uh, well, one wonders, and I guess we're going to see how much influence America has in Iraq when we see what punishment is awaiting him. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, I, I feel like this whole issue is centered around Bush trying, the whole issue of him even being in Iraq right now is centered around him trying to reclaim his lost legacy and, you know, trying to pick up the pieces and tell the military that, okay, you know, things are going well now. We're, uh, we're finally bringing freedom to Iraq. And it's, it's just, it upsets me so much because, you know, you make a mess and, of course, you start to clean it up and things look like they're getting a little better. But he made the mess. And uh, I just don't feel like we can excuse him for that so quickly. Well, I agree with you, and I thank you, Garth, for the call. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Ken on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Pop? How you doing? I'm doing pretty all right. Hey, um, you know, once I get home today, I am going to, you know, wrap up my shoes and I'm going to send them straight to the White House because I'm not living over there. Otherwise, I throw them straight on the lawn for him. <laughs> I tell you, I, I'm going to go big and I'm going to grab as many shoes as I can and tell my friends to start sending them over to the White Wouldn't House. Wouldn't that too. be one of those great national campaigns where everybody sends yeah, their shoes to the White House? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> We need to we need to start doing that. Get your listeners, whoever doesn't want to do, you know, whoever doesn't like Bush, go ahead and just mail them out to the White House. <laughs> or if you're living in, in in Washington, just start throwing them on the yard there. <laughs> all right, Dad, that's all I really wanted to say. First time, long time, and go ahead and take me out with a bong rip. All right, Ken, here you go. Bush was lucky it wasn't the shoe bomber. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our t just a pair of shoes. For Christ's sake. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Russell on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello Tom. Hello Russell. How you doing today, boss? Doing okay. Good, and I do care. Hey, listen. If someone came to my neighborhood and bought my neighborhood and all my friends and my family and my neighbors and my business, I think I'd throw shoes at them, too. I might even throw more than that if I had it around me. <laughs> I love that. Hey, I mean, to be truthful here, the guy was saying, thank you for ruining our, our, our livelihood. Do not come back, and here's a little kiss in the butt. No so doubt about it, Russell. Thank you for that. Here's Bo on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay. You know, I, I kind of had a whole different take on this thing, and I agree. This thing was hilarious, and Bush is a, a moron, and he deserved to have the, the, the shoe thrown at him. But kind of the way he handled it afterwards, I'm kind of 
ashamed is the fact that uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is when you're an American and you're on a, and you're abroad, when you're in France. Don't you have to live by the customs that happen in France? Don't you kind of have to deal with whatever, however things go over there? You do. You have to live by the laws. When when you're when you're in the Middle East or wherever, you know, when you're in Iraq, that that's a common, I guess, a common thing. They throw a shoe at you when they disagree or when they're really upset. Isn't that something that's a custom for them? Well, that's what this story says. Uh, I'm not really familiar with that custom. I've never heard of it. It could be because I'm not uh, educated in this area, but uh, whatever it is, you know what? You stand up there in a podium in another country, and you are subject not only to the laws of that other country, but the traditions, customs, and uh, the uh, ways of expressing opinions. And lastly, I wanted to say the way he handled it afterwards, he made light of that. And I think that, you know, I think he owes the world, Iraq, he owes a lot of people an apology. He, makes, he made a fool of us in many ways. And so I think he deserved to get in the face of that shoe. He should have leaned into that sucker. I mean, really, I think Bush owes it to us to stay at the White House, to keep a low profile, stay on the DL. Shut up. And just to skulk out of there and, and hope nobody throws any shoes at him on the way out of the White House. No f***ing it. He's done. Oh, he's done. There's no doubt about that. The clock is ticking. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Evan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Father. How Hello. You doing today? Doing okay, son. And I care. I thought the best thing about it there. Um, I think he enjoyed it himself. What would he do? He stood there the whole time with a nice smile on his face, didn't he? <laughs> it's pretty much what he did for eight years. <laughs> with that do that, that right? dopey ass eating grin, you know what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, he had that big old grin right there on his face, like what the heck just <laughs> happened here? <laughs> and he had time to check out the size of the shoe too. What do you think of that? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> anyway, Evan, thank you so much for the call. Tom like it one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six two the Tom like his show. The Tom Likas Show from Hollywood. The Tom Likas Show now heard six days a week. Here are Saturdays from 2 until 6 on 97.1 FM Talk. And we continue with your telephone calls. President Bush, a victim of a shoe-throwing incident in Iraq over the weekend. Uh, a reporter threw his shoes at the president. And I said uh, to start off this hour, come on. Would you like to be the one to have done that? Did you get a kick out of that? Huh? It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Dwayne on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Yeah, I think you're being a little bit hard on Bush. Um, How so? We got to keep, keep things in perspective here. This man changed this man's whole way of life. He's killed, because of this man's words, he's killed a thousand people. Thousands of people are dead at this man's word. And all he can do is throw a shoe. He probably killed some of his cousins. All he can do is throw a shoe. So I, I can see why Bush wouldn't care. He probably thinks it's funny. All he can do is throw an inaccurate shoe at him. So why are you saying I'm being hard on Bush? Because uh, why, why should he care? Why does it make, it, make him an idiot for not it, caring? Well, no. no I, that's not what makes him an idiot. What makes him no. an idiot is that he's an idiot. Yeah. Okay. I can. I can see that. That you. You're. You're entitled to your own opinion. Well, I think most Americans agree. The guy's a moron. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. But he's leading us. So what does that make us? Idiots for voting for. It. Yeah. That's true. Well, there's enough idiots out there. You know. Well, the they. they wo well, they woke up when uh, the Dow Jones average fell off a cliff. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I'm just saying that. You know. I think Bush got a good perspective on things. This guy. All he can do is throw a shoe at him. And he missed him. I mean, if he and look at him, he's in jail right now. So he's sitting in. Well, he's he he's in jail. Home, he's in jail right now. Shoe. We don't. We don't. We don't know if he's going to be going home or not. Man, I mean, he doesn't need. He doesn't. I mean, that's punishment enough. I mean, he's sitting in jail right now. He can't go home because he threw a shoe. I mean, he just threw a shoe. Right, but we don't know what's going to happen, and uh, the Iraqi government will decide what's going to happen. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 
Hey, how's it going, Tom? It's going great. Cool. I got a couple of stuff I got to say. First of all, that first guy that called in here earlier saying that all your audience is morons and everything like that, he pretty much called himself a moron because I bet you that guy is listening to you 24-7. Can't get enough of you. Of course he is. And Not only that, he's delusional. He thinks he's inside my brain. Yeah, exactly. He thinks, I mean, I know he listens to you like every other day or every single That's day. Right. And he's calling and saying, yeah, for that, that, uh, let's get that over. He's not what we're talking about. Uh, the Bush situation, I don't know how people can call and actually respect Bush if Bush doesn't respect himself and says, so what, he threw a shoe on me. What do you mean? That's like the most disrespectful thing you could actually do, and he doesn't care, so why should we care? You know what I mean? I know what you mean. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Bianca on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, you're Tom. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Um, well, this is a response to all the people that think that Bush is such a great president or that we're being so hard on him. I mean, if they actually did their political research and, like, checked, about, checked out really what their true reasons are, why we start wars and why we end war to begin with, it's absolutely, it would blow most people's minds, but most people don't take the time to educate themselves. So what I'd like to say is that they're, they're only there for money. That's the only reason why our country gets involved in what we with in the first place. And for anybody to think anything other than that, they're morons. They are, they, they're just misinformed, uneducated, and being ignorant. And I, I, he, Bush has created the highest national deficit in the history of our country, of any president ever. Every president combined has not, has not created a national deficit as high as Bush has. And I just don't even see any reason why. I mean, he didn't even do the... Uh, but he not, only created, he not only created the highest deficit of all time, he created the, the highest deficit of all time at the same time, saying that he was a Republican and he was going to be fiscally responsible and everybody oh. else was a bunch of liberal tax and spenders, but not him. Nobody spent more money than George Bush during an administration, ever. I know, I know, and it's actually really sad. People thinking that he's the he's the reason why we have a recession, and they're all over there monopolizing. They're trying to get set up so they can get uh, control of their oil of Iraqi's oil. That's what this is all about. It's all about the oil. It's all about money. And also, what I was going to say is that we, not, the people didn't even vote Bush into office. He didn't. They, he, got, he got in on a congressional vote. And for people to think that the people were for Bush. I no, think. no, no. He didn't get in on a congressional vote. He yeah, got. He, I thought no, he did. That's why I no. voted against him, and he got in on congressional vote. No, the very first round. it doesn't work that way. He got in because the Supreme Court decided that the election in Florida was legal and that uh, he had won that district, uh, Palm Beach County, uh, where it was contested by Al Gore. And by the way, I don't believe in de disseminating conspiracy theories. USA Today and the New York Times both did their own recount of the votes uh, in, the, in the year 2000. Uh -huh. And they both concluded that Bush won. Oh, on, the, on his second election, second term, yeah. He did. No, no. But I'm talking. No, 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 no. That. No, no, no. Nope. We're talking about 2000, not 2004. His first election. Yeah. Uh, the New York Times um, and USA Today recounted the votes themselves. Yeah. What I was going to say is that you don't believe that you're trying to tell me about the conspiracy theories and all that. Um, have you ever seen a movie called Zeitgeist? I haven't. You haven't. I recommend it. It's free. It's on the internet. Just look up ZeitgeistTheMovie.com. That'll actually give you a good uh, start onto a lot but, of... But look, the, 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 the fact uh, is... Information that the fact that is, we look, look up ourselves. You, you, and, fine, fine, fine. The point is, <laughs> if enough people saw what a bad job Bush was doing in 2004, we wouldn't be where we are today. Oh, I know, I know. But they hit it pretty well. Because everybody was so distracted with the whole war thing. Oh, this terrorism, terrorism, all this. Well, but, that, that, that's our, but that, again, that's our own fault. Oh, I know. Well, we our, must take responsibility uh, for being delusional at that time. We must take responsibility. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here is Randy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, I just wanted to say I think it's disgusting and appalling that you guys are actually joking about our president having a shoe thrown at him. Pretty funny. Remember, right? To, it isn't funny. No, I mean, it's if very got killed funny. Or hurt? You can't get killed by a but, shoe. Yeah, well, remember the shoe bomber? Remember that? I mean, who there was no bomb. It was just a shoe. 
Well, remember that it's actually uh, two that shoes. Anything could happen. Very anything funny. Could happen. Very it's funny. funny. Oh, and, yeah. and by the way, what <laughs> other leader? <laughs> That it's, is not cool at all. It's very that's funny. That's very unpatriotic <laughs> of you. And it starts with you because it's your show. <laughs> and you, you're the one who's supposed to be uh, uh, leading all these other uh, listeners that you have. And you're laughing at our president almost getting hurt. That's not cool. I think it's that guy again. The guy who threw his radio uh, and, uh, smash it. It's that guy. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Steve on the Tom Lycus show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Good, good. Tom, I, I uh, I'm a huge Barack Obama fan. Um and and I, I just moved here to, to uh California about six months ago, so From... I've only been I've only been listening to you for a short time. Yeah. And I'm a I'm a huge fan of the show because I have to drive home every day. Right. But but I have to disagree with you on, on this on this point today. And and just if you would just hear me out. Um forget that it's Bush. Um how did that guy get the second shoe off uh before the Secret Service stepped in? I mean what if it was <laughs> when Barack, Barack I, got they him. probably thought it was pretty funny too. Well, no, I, I would I would hope not because our next president, um, you know, maybe he can maybe he can uh, uh, fix things that, that that Bush broke over there, and I just think that um, as the president of the United States, whether it's Bush, whoever it is, they do they do deserve a little bit of respect. Um, and and I'm just I'm appalled at the Secret Service that they uh, that guy got I don't the agree with seat. that. I I think you deserve the respect you have earned. The respect you have earned, right? And right. and this man uh, did not earn our respect. He didn't. Well, when we first went over there, Tom, didn't you think we were doing the right thing when we first went over? Based Only on what, based on whatever lies Bush and Cheney told us. Right, right, right. Exactly. So exactly. I, we were wrong to feel that way. Well, you know what? I'm still a big fan, Tom. And uh, you're, you're doing good work out there, and I listen to you every day. I just happen to disagree with you today. That's all. That's okay. It's going to happen sometimes, Steve. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. And by the way, our show's now heard six days a week. Here are Saturdays from 2 until 6 on 97.1 FM Talk in Los Angeles. Or go to our website, blowmeuptom.com, click on the Listen Live button, and there we are. It's the Tom Likas Show.